Hey everybody, it's Megan here with Julie's Junk and today I'm going to show you how we're going to put these cute buddy stencils on this plain, boring plywood board. But to get started, we're going to use the paint that I have left over from a project that we just finished up on a porch sign. You can check out on our Facebook page. We're going to start off painting this piece in Country Sheets Vanilla Frosting. It's a really great white, it's just a little bit off of your regular white. When you're painting this rough kind of plywood, you have to put a pretty good amount on. So just get a real healthy dose on your brush and you can go into painting. It's maybe going to take two coats to get this light colored white paint, nice full coverage on this board. Alright, so you're going to make sure that your board is nice and dry, whether you put two coats on for a perfect coverage or you do one light coat, like I did, for more of a rustic look. We're going to use this awesome bunny stencil. I kind of measured it out quick and it looks like we're going to be able to fit five bunnies on here. So we're going to scoot it over to the edge, line up that nice straight there. We're going to take some of our regular painter's tape, stick it on in a few spots so our stencil stays in place. So to order any of the paint that you see here today, you can go to countrysheetpaint.com and to receive 10% off, you can enter my code JuliasJunk10 at checkout. Make sure that's junk. J-U-N-Q-U-E. Alright, so you're also going to be able to pick up these amazing one and a half inch oval brushes from there too. And these are great for painting, they're also great for stenciling. This color that I'm going to put on now is Country Sheets Luminous. It's a really pretty bright, bright yellow. Trick to stenciling. Dab some paint on your brush, then take most of that paint back off either on your paper plate, on your paper towel, whatever you like to use. Then you're just going to stipple straight up and down so your stencil isn't wiggling. If you want that perfect coverage, it's maybe going to take two coats. I'm going for a more rustic look with this, so I'm going to do one quick light coat, leaving some spots a little darker than others. and not focusing on getting my edges perfect, perfect. But with this manner, you definitely can get that very crisp, clean stencil lines that you're going for, and it's pretty quick. So the next color we're going to use is Country Chic's Rich Purple, just cheers. Again, like I said, this is some leftover paint from a project that I just finished a little while ago, so it doesn't take very much at all to do projects like this. And the less paint, the better when you're stenciling. Now you can use all sorts of different things to stencil with. You can have specific stencil brushes. You can use makeup sponges. That's another great way to do it that's very cost effective. But if you've got big areas to do and you want to finish it up pretty quick, these brushes are definitely my favorite. Okay, then we're going to go with Country Chic's whoop de doo Really great bright blue, happy spring color. of our little bunnies. Alright, we're going to go 
next with Country Chic's Bees Knees. One of my favorite colors. And the last color we're going to use today is Country Chic's Happy Hour. A really nice light blue with a little bit of a gray undertone. And yes, you can go right over these stencils even though we just painted with them. It's a little bit damp, so we're maybe going to catch a little bit purple in there with it, but I'm not mad about it. If you wanted it to be perfect, as long as you wait for that stencil to be dry, you can continue to paint over it. Without it. There we have our five buttons. And again, these are Country Chic Luminous, Cheers, whoop de doo Bees Knees, and Happy Hour. Make sure that you are clicking that subscribe button, giving me a thumbs up, and sharing this video. And thank you so much for watching, and I hope you tune back in for some more DIY, vintage, furniture, farmhouse, and junk to junk with Megan from Julia's Junk. Thank you.